Hello, let's get started on the lesson. Native Americans are the original people who lived in the United States. Native Americans lived in tribes and nations that had their own religions, traditions, and languages. Among the famous Indian nations, there are Cherokee, Sioux, Navajo, Iroquois, and Apache. Today, there are more than 500 Native American tribes and nations. Let's take a look at the worksheet. Can you find the names of five Indian tribes or nations in the word search? We're looking for Cherokee, Sioux, Navajo, Iroquois, and Apache. The words are written horizontally and vertically. First, let's find the name Cherokee. It begins with the letter C. Cherokee means people with another language. Do you see it in the word search? There it is. C H E R O K E E. Awesome job! Now let's look for Sioux. Native Americans of the Sioux tribe were known as warriors and hunters. Can you find this name? It's spelled S I O. U X Found it S I O U X Great work The next name is Navajo It begins with the letter N The Navajo tribe originally lived in the southwest region of the United States Let's find the tribal name in the word search. N A V A J O. Correct! Native Americans of the Iroquois tribe lived in the Northeast region. They were known for fishing and agriculture. Agriculture is another word for farming. Do you see the name Iroquois? It starts with the letter I. It's right here. I R O Q U O I S. Good job! The last name that we need to find is Apache. The Apache Indians built shelters called wigwams from branches, leaves, and grass. Let's find the name Apache. Here, A P A C H E. Excellent. Let's review. Native Americans are the original people who lived in the United States. The five largest tribes and nations are Cherokee, Sioux, Navajo, Iroquois, and Apache. Each tribe has its own unique culture and traditions. They were known for unique skills such as hunting and fishing. Agriculture is another word for farming. A wigwam is a Native American shelter built from branches, leaves, and grass. 
Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Hello. Let's get started on the lesson. Jamestown was the first English settlement in North America. A settlement is a colony or a small community of people. English settlers began their journey from London in December of 1606. They traveled aboard three ships, Discovery, Susan Constant, and Godspeed. The Discovery was the smallest ship, while the Susan Constant was the largest. These ships carried nearly 150 people on a voyage to North America. A voyage is a long trip taken by sea or air. The English settlers were in search of new land. First, they stopped at the Canary Islands for water and rest. They also made a stop at the Caribbean Islands. Finally, after four long months, they reached America in April of 1607. They would soon begin to explore land in Virginia. Jamestown was the perfect location for a new settlement. It was surrounded by water, which made it easy to escape from attacks by boat. The area was also uninhabited, which means that no one lived there. While Native Americans lived in nearby areas, Jamestown was free to colonize. The settlers' long voyage had finally come to an end. Let's review. Jamestown was the first English settlement in North America. A settlement is a colony or a small community of people. English settlers went on a four-month voyage from London to America in 1606. A voyage is a long trip taken by sea or air. They selected Jamestown because it was uninhabited and surrounded by water. An area that no one lives in is uninhabited. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Hello, boys and girls. Let's talk about Thanksgiving, which is a very important holiday in America. On this day, we watch parades, decorate our houses, and have a big family dinner. But do you know where this holiday came from? Let's learn more about the first Thanksgiving Day. Many years ago, in 1620, a group of brave Englishmen got off their ship in America. They were called pilgrims. It was a tough, cold winter, and they did not have enough food. Many people got very sick.
When the spring came, the pilgrims had to learn how to feed themselves. Native Americans showed them how to grow plants, such as corn. Native Americans were the people who had long lived in America. They knew how to survive and grow food on this land. In the fall, the pilgrims gathered a big harvest. This means that they had plenty of food to eat. They decided to have a fancy dinner. Their Native American neighbors were invited to the celebration. The pilgrims were thankful that they had settled in a new place and started a new life. Since then, Americans come together on Thanksgiving to celebrate the things that they are thankful for. Family, food, shelter, and good health are just a few things that many people give thanks for on this day. Hello, let's get started on the lesson. There are 50 states in the United States of America. If you look at the American flag, you will see 50 stars, one for each state. But many years ago, there were only 13 stars. These stars represented the original 13 American colonies. New Hampshire, Massachusetts Bay, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. Back in the early 1600s, English settlers came to America seeking independence from British rulers. They founded Virginia, the first American colony in 1607. Settlers from many different nations, such as Sweden and France, continued to form colonies for many years. The 13th colony, Georgia, was founded in 1732. American colonies were divided into three regions the New England colonies, the Middle colonies, and the Southern colonies. Each region had a different way of life. The New England colonies were good for fishing and fur trading, but there was very little farmland. The middle colonies were better for growing crops and raising farm animals. People in the southern colonies made money from cash crops, such as rice and cotton. Cash crops were grown for the purpose of selling. After the Revolutionary War, colonies started to become states. This would give them independence from Great Britain to start a new government. Let's review. Before there were 50 states, there were only 13 colonies in America. Colonies were founded by settlers in the 1600s and 1700s. American colonies were divided into three regions, New England, Middle, and Southern. Each region had a different way of life.
The 13 colonies became states after the Revolutionary War, gaining independence from Great Britain. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Grandpa, why do we celebrate the 4th of July? Well, you see, July 4th, 1776 was a very special day in America. 1776? That sure was a long time ago. So, what makes that day so special? This was the first Independence Day in America. Independence? What does that mean? Independence means freedom. For many years, American colonies were ruled by British leaders. They had to do what the British rulers told them to do. They could not make up their own laws. Congress leaders wanted to change this. They wrote the Declaration of Independence, explaining why America should be free from Great Britain. On July 4, 1776, the Declaration of Independence was approved by Congress. America was finally free. Hooray! Now Americans could do whatever they wanted. Oh no, dear. America was free from British laws, but they had to make up new ones. Years later, in 1787, the Constitution was written. The framers of the Constitution had a meeting at Independence Hall in Philadelphia. Some famous framers were Benjamin Franklin and George Washington. Together, 39 framers signed and agreed on the rights that American citizens should have. Rights? What are rights? These are things that people have the freedom to do. You mean like the Bill of Rights. I remember we learned about that at school. Exactly. The Bill of Rights were amendments or small changes made to the Constitution in 1791. They were added to protect certain rights of American citizens. Like freedom of speech and religion, right? You've got it! And freedom of the press and many other rights. So Americans have all these rights because of what happened on July 4th, 1776. This was the beginning of it all. And we celebrate the 4th of July to show how much we appreciate our freedom. Absolutely. Grandpa, I think Independence Day is my new favorite holiday. Me too, dear. Me too. Hello. Let's get started on the lesson. An inventor is a person who creates something new. American inventors changed the way people live many years ago. In 1838, Morse introduced an electric telegraph with a special code system to help people send messages. He invented Morse code. Messages sent by Morse code contain dots and dashes to show the alphabet letters, numbers, punctuation marks, and other special characters. For example, this is how you would say hello in Morse code.
Years later, in 1876, Alexander Graham Bell invented the first telephone. He discovered a way to transmit or send sound across electrical lines. People could now use the telephone to talk to each other from long distances. Thomas Edison invented the light bulb in 1879. Until then, people used fire as a main light source. Edison's bulb used electricity to create light. It was more powerful and less expensive than candles. This is because one light bulb could illuminate or light up an entire room. Centuries later, the light bulb is still a common household item all over the world. Orville and Wilbur Wright invented the first successful airplane in 1903. Early inventions such as gliders and aerial steam engines failed. Thanks to the Wright brothers and their clever design, people can travel the world by air. Let's review. An inventor is a person who creates something new. Samuel Morse was the inventor of a telegraph system called Morse code. People could use these codes to send messages to one another. Alexander Graham Bell discovered a way to transmit or send sound across electrical lines. This led to his invention of the telephone in 1876. Thomas Edison invented the light bulb in 1879. It was powerful enough to illuminate or light up an entire room. After many failed attempts, the Wright brothers invented the first successful airplane in 1903. Thanks for watching. Bye. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.